Hi, I'm Rob from B&H. I'm here with my esteemed colleague, Mr. Daniel Bachrath, and we're going to actually check out some digital audio converters and headphone amps. We've got several models here with us today. Before we talk about the individual models, Daniel, tell me a little bit about the concept behind a DAC slash headphone amp. What, what are these products all sure. about? Sure. Well, so when a manufacturer makes, say, like a computer or a mobile phone or a tablet, um, they have to make compromises in terms of the design so that all of those components can fit into the form factor of the device, can be powered by a battery and so forth. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you experience those compromises in terms of the sound quality that you get from the internal sound card or the phone's chip. And in those cases, you can get a device like these, which are dedicated to converting audio from the digital domain to analog um, via, say, like uh, an iOS lightning cable to your iPhone or iPod or your iPad. Um, via your computer, via USB, um, in that way. And then, you know, with enough amplification, like more energy dedicated in the battery to being able to amplify it so that you can hear it through your headphones, depending on what kind of headphones or earbuds you choose. They're not like iPods or right. MP3 players, so they don't actually play files. They allow you to play files from, say, your computer or your iPhone or possibly an Android device with better fidelity. Right. Okay, right. excellent. Yeah. Fantastic. And they're all portable as well, so yeah. you can use these on the train or take it to yeah, the office. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a distinction between something being portable and you're being able to easily move it around with you and sometimes being mobile. So mm -hmm. these four devices are all mobile in the sense that the internal battery actually allows you to be able to use it while you're on a train or on a plane mm -hmm. versus this device, the Sony. Sony's but, a little different. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but there's there's good reasons why it is the way that it is. It's more meant maybe for being on your desktop or it requires actually two USB connections, one for power and then one for the conversion. Before we talk about the Sony, let's start maybe with the TAC over sure. here and get into that and then we'll get to the Sony eventually and then also the Shure here as sure. well. So tell me a little about, about the TAC. Yeah, the TAC is great. Uh, the unit comes in both black and like red. It's got both optical in, so like you could usually use it with like a CD player mm -hmm. or something that has a digital out, and then a USB micro for your computer or your Android phone, and then a USB A to lightning cable connector that you'd have for if you're going to use your iOS device. All these devices are iOS compatible, okay. so they'll work with your iPhone or iPod. You have a gain switch in the front and the it's feed. It's a lower high gain switch. Yeah, depending on uh, what kind of headphones you're using mm -hmm. and what your listening requirements are. And then one of the things I really like about it is you can tell in the design that they took care to build out these bumpers mm -hmm. to protect the knob from accidentally, say, being sheared off when you pull it out of your bag or a cable being broken off in, in the jack and then needing service. Great form factor. It's about the size of a phone. Great battery. It converts at 96 kilohertz. Okay. Um, so it can you know do a high resolution file, higher than a CD. But um, yeah, it's, it's a great, great unit. And it's a built-in battery that's rechargeable through the USB port, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to this Denon DAC headphone amp. Tell me a little bit about the Denon model sure. we've got here. Sure. Um, also, very nice form factor, you know, mm -hmm. about the size of your average mobile device. Um, it's got a few more features in that uh, there's a switch on the side here that allows you to turn off whether or not the device is charging itself over the USB connection. So, like, if you had it connected to your phone or, like, mm -hmm. a small tablet, you wouldn't necessarily want to be pull the power from the phone's battery to charge this if it's already charged up. But if you're connected to your desktop computer at work or at home, you can be charging the device while you're using it to convert. Nicely versatile service. in terms of yeah. you know, power allocation. Yeah, and you, yeah. You, you select your input from the back here. It's mm -hmm. also got the Type-A for the iPhone connection, iPod connection, and the USB for other connections. You can feed it an analog signal through the auxiliary input, like if you have you know, another converter and you just want to use it as a headphone amp. And that obviously would bypass the, the DAC that's built inside here and go directly to the headphone Yeah, or amp. if you wanted to use it to feed in, in another device, uh, normal gain and in, in, in high uh, knobs. Also, similar design consideration where they've recessed the, the uh, bumper into some kind of protective mm -hmm. element so that it doesn't get broken off when you're moving it around. Nice curve on this one, so maybe it's not going to tear your pants pocket. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah that's, that's smart. Now, this one will also go up to 192 kilohertz, this, this is one's, that correct? Yeah, this one's 96 and this one's 192 and mm -hmm. actually at 32-bit. They both use Burr Brown chips, which is a really popular and well-respected well sure. brand for converter chips. Um, diff different chips, but, mm -hmm. but both very nice. In but terms a 32 of bit file. converter on here. Yeah, 32 bit uh, is the bit depth of the, of the converter on this one. Excellent. Here. Now, this one from Fostex is a little different in the sense that it is not necessarily, there's, it's not a DAC. It's not a DAC, no. Um, but it can actually work with all these. Tell me a little bit about the Fostex. Right. Th we wanted to include this one because um, it's, it's a pretty unique product. Uh, 
for people who you know are used to listening to music on vinyl, or they they talk about you know the analog warmth that sometimes feels lost in the days now that we're in digital music. Sure. Um, one of the ways you can recapture that experience in the tonal, tonality and the texture of the music is by introducing vacuum tubes mm -hmm. into your signal chain. And so this is actually a portable battery powered vacuum tube headphone amplifier um, that can be paired with any DAC that you like or your, even your phone, you could plug your phone directly into it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it, it adds um, a very pleasant form of distortion, harmonic distortion that audiophiles you know, sometimes prefer. Analog warmth, over a very, as it were. Yeah, over the very digital, transparent, clean sound that you get from you know, more solid state amplification. Excellent. And then back to DAC slash headphone amp, sure. we've got the Sony here. Yeah, the Sony is um, pretty special in that it can sample PCM files um, up to 384 kilohertz, 32-bit, um, and then it can also do DSD files, okay. So, which is a different way that digital audio has been done. You know, it's a larger discussion. DSD being DSD. direct stream digital. Yes, okay. yeah, where it's, it's um, sampling at up to 5.6 megahertz, so much, much higher sampling mm. rate and a different way of representing the, mu the music as a bit stream. In addition to a normal eighth inch stereo output, you all have balanced output connectors. They, they make a pair of headphones, and a couple other manufacturers do too, where they'll build two cables, one feeding each side. Mm -hmm. um, so that improves the, the intelligibility of the signal. Also digital input, like I said, you actually need to plug in two USB connections, one to provide power to the unit, okay. and then one to do the conversion from your phone or So from is there the an internal battery in here? There is, but it, it's it's, this design is pretty high audiophile in the sense that they, they're imagining that you're going to be using it, say, like when you're at work, when you come home, but yet it's still portable that you could bring it on your commute. Okay. But it has optical in too, like so that you could be feeding it from a transport or a CD player. Another thing that I really appreciate about it is in addition to a gain switch on the side here, it has this DSSE HX switch on the side, which will upsample your content to a higher resolution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have a stream of, of samples and it will add samples in between samples to more closely replicate you know, the, uh, the smoothness of an analog. Smoothing out those digital yeah, steps between yeah. samples, basically. And it's, basically. it's noticeable when you flip it on, you can hear the, the effect it gives. It makes the music more engaging. Okay. More, I, I find it to my ear for, mm -hmm. for what it's worth, you know. Um, yeah, really nice unit as well. And so a very nice portable yeah. form factor also. Now we, speaking of form factor, we come to my favorite form factor in the lineup. This is the Shure. Uh, SHA-900. thing looks great. Tell us a little bit about the Shure. Sure. Again, they, they're conscious of recessing the knob, mm -hmm. which I really appreciate, as it's going to maybe more likely be in your pocket, or the accessories that come with this. Um, a lot of cables Yeah, a lot of cables, the so box. they're really accommodating every kind of device. If you want to use your tablet or your phone or your computer as you go out the day, people will use these Just if they want to have the it in their pocket it, right. when they're on the train or on the plane or whatnot. One special thing is they have a they include a, a cable that's a USB micro to lightning connector, so you don't need to have like a separate jack. They all can work from this USB connection. Mm -hmm. so that was like a, a, you know I haven't seen that really as, as often before. And then it's got a display, which is huge. This is the only model with a display. Yeah, of right? the ones that we're showing here. Right. Yeah, that allow you get more into the settings, uh, allow you to change equalization. For, there's a four-band parametric equalizer that you can create user settings. And a couple of presets Pre in there. Is flat, well. low, low boost, vocal boost, say if you're listening to podcasts or mm -hmm. something like that and you want to make it more clear. Right. Um, it has analog RMS limiting, which is a, a pretty interesting feature. It's 96 at 24 mm -hmm. bit in terms of the sample rate, but it, it, sound, it sounds exceptional. I mean, it's got Shure's build quality and mm -hmm. reputation behind it, which is huge. Fantastic. For professional equipment, yeah. Um, it, there's a lot of great okay. offerings from them and from all the other manufacturers that, that pair very well with all of these headphones. They're more than capable of driving the majority of headphones that you'd use in this sort of Both application. Both in-ear headphones and yeah, on-ear headphones ears, as well. Yeah, circumvolent, summer, yeah. Absolutely. Sounds good. Well, Daniel, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to give us a rundown on DAC slash portable headphone amp. Sure, appreciate it, my man. pleasure. Thank yeah, thank you. All right, so from BNH, I'm Rob and this is Daniel and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.